brought violence or Taliban control of territory. They're fleeing not ISIS or unparalleled airstrikes by the coalition that has finally forced them from their homes. They're running from drought. A record dry spell, forcing more families in Afghanistan from their homes this year than the war has. And as if Afghanistan hadn't already broken all super its misery, this is what it's driving them to. Meet Mamarine and her six-year-old daughter, Akila. You'd think a tiny family united under plastic sheeting. But desperation means it hasn't turned out that way. Mamarine has sold Akila for $3,000 to this man, Najmuddin, who will give her to his 10-year-old son, Sheraga. Listen to how they got here. Mamarine first. I fled my village, she says, with my three children because of severe drought. I came here thinking I will receive some assistance, but I got nothing. To avoid starvation among my children, I gave my daughter to a man for about $3,000, but have only got $70 so far. I had no money, no food, and no breadwinner. My husband was also killed. She doesn't know that I've sold her. How could she know? She's a child, but I had no other choice. What if Akila tries to run, we ask. Whether in tears or laughter, she says, Akila will have to go. Who would sell a piece of her heart unless they really have to? Akila's buyer, Najmuddin, thinks buying a six-year-old girl is an act of charity. Her family don't have anything to eat, he says. They were hungry. I know I'm also poor, but I'm sure I can pay it off slowly in two or three years. The cameraman asks... But aren't they children? It doesn't matter, he says. These things happen here. Even an old man marries a young girl. It happens. Najmuddin also fled the drought. The UN says it has put 275,000 people on the move this year. But half from around the area of Baghdad. The wheat crop has failed us, he says. We couldn't grow melons. All the other crops failed because of the drought. We lost our livestock. The sheep, cows and goats all died of hunger as there wasn't any fodder for them. Around the camp, we hear this kind of horrific story repeated. Here, this man sold his four-year-old daughter to a 20-year-old to settle her debt. It is a world of survival and unimaginable where families must betray each other just to live. And winter is ahead, promising to be colder, as arid and hungrier too. Nick Payton Walsh, CNN.